Hi everyone, this is Jarvis. Just a quick clarification, uh, what I was talking about in my previous video, since I have a wide variety of things I would like to talk about, I would like to know if there's anything in particular that you would like to hear about. So it'll help me focus a little bit more on the shotgun blast, the stuff out there that, that I have interest in. So anyway, let's get on with the video. Anyone who keeps up with this channel knows that last week I was able to finish Vandal Swarm for the first time. I didn't get disconnected. My internet didn't uh, leave me hanging like it always does. And so I was able to rent the glaive and wanted to look at this beauty and fly it for the first time and give you my general impressions of it. It took a little bit of doing. I, I got the ship on the pad and instantly people started like running right for the ship so it was one of those things that I uh, I lifted off all well I didn't lift off but I got into the cockpit as quick as I could and then I had to wait till everyone left and oh there's a guy right there I had to wait till everyone left and uh, then I could do a quick walk around and then I get back in as fast as possible because it appears that like a lot of people really want to fly this ship the view is kind of interesting uh, and that's really cool. I like the way that the HUD comes up like that. This is really a... Uh, it's really a very interesting ship to fly. Now, you're going to notice later on as I'm flying, I get this weird graphical glitch on the wings. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Uh, it makes it kind of flicker. Um, I think it has to do something. I just updated my video drivers, and I noticed after the video that... My SLI was turned off, and I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but if it does, you know, just bear with it. Uh, sometimes these things happen after you do uh, driver updates. So. so I thought I'd go ahead and uh, see what kind of speed the ship would get underneath uh, normal thrust and underneath uh, uh, cruise, and uh, then take it to a fight and uh, see what happens.
Well, overall, I really, really enjoyed flying it. It had some weird bugs where the, as you probably saw in the video, where the converging sometimes the, the guns would crisscross a little bit, and that was that was kind of weird. I think that's just one of the things that has to be worked out. I feel the ship needs a little bit more shields, and uh, once again, I can't stress enough. Please replace that radar ball. That thing is about as useless as it can be. So, no matter what ship it's in, uh, situational awareness is really key, and that thing forces me to fly by arrows for the most part and well anyway that's not the critique of the ship <laughs> the guns need a uh, they need to not overheat as quickly uh, they overheat way too fast but a lot of punch a lot of punch I gotta give it that and uh, this is gonna be very enjoyable I'm gonna enjoy my seven days of flying this and uh, part of me wants to uh, put on the Klingon theme uh, you know, for that bird of prey, that da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na. anyone go out there and uh, you know be a pirate for a little while or something because well, when you're flying something like this, it almost feels mandatory. Though normally, honestly, being a pirate is not my thing. So anyway, guys, just wanted to go ahead and give you my quick impressions of the ship. I think it's really solid. I think it's fun. Uh, anyone who has this is definitely going to be something that uh, a lot of people are going to be looking forward to buying one in the Persistent Universe if they missed out in the first 1,000 uh, that were released. And, uh, yeah, overall, I'll just give you one last uh, walk around the ship. And uh, I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for watching.